Good evening, everyone. This is Rabbit Travis here. I'm going to show you how to make the damsel fly and the dragonfly fly. <laughs> um, basically, they can be used either or. Just depends on your lengths or your tail. And then obviously the color. But, um, so, we got 6 aught royal blue thread. Um, we got some, I call it fuzzy wire. I'm going to use it for dubbing. We got some damselfly bodies. Um, we're going to use this for the main body. You can see the reason why I haven't tapered it off yet. And then we have grizzly hackle. Grizzly, grizzly hackle. There we go. I can't speak tonight for some reason. But, there we go. Grizzly Haggle. Uh, as our wing case. So, start your thread off. And then, keep her going. That way, the threads and everything else has something to hold on to. Um, this is being put on the hook. So, first things first. Got our fuzzy wire. Okay. So we're going in a clockwise fashion. So that means this stuff is going to go the opposite way. One, two, three, four, bring it back. All right, I take this and we cut it off. One, two, three, cut off tags or exit and or excess material. So, uh, the reason why I like this wire is I can lay it down flat. All right, next is the dazzle, the tail. Now you can take a marker to this after you tie it on, after you finish your fly. Um, I personally am not going to. So, you'll have fun with that. Take that, we're going to snip off just the top corner, make sure everything's on top. Lines up just right. And we're going to be doing this multiple times uh, throughout the entire cycle. Just making sure everything's on top. No one likes an awkward fly. So, bring this forward a little bit. Cover up this part right here. Take your bit. A little bit of foam that you got on there for your body. Remember, this is the Danzelfly's uh, main body, so wrap it a few times. Wrap it once, wrap it twice afterwards. That little tag end will help it out a bit, but uh, is snip it off. You have kind of like a like a hip section almost. So and now we tie on the hackle. Perfect. Almost perfect. Sometimes this will give you a bit of a trouble. Mind you, remind to remind you these are size twelve folks, so they are very very small. Take this. Remember, we went clockwise. We're gonna take this feather. And everything else on here go counterclockwise. One, two, three, 
four. So you get four. Um, you're going to tie it off. And then snip. Take your tags off. Just like that. Like that. You lay this down. Remember, keep everything on top. One. Two. Three. Move it. All right. Now, all you need to do is uh, cut this top. You gotta cut it flat. Cause that's what's gonna give you your head. You can take some marker afterwards and then uh, mark it up. Um, it's okay to lose a few fibers, not too many though. But it's gonna happen with this build anyway. Um, so I'm gonna actually leave those ones on. They're okay. When I wet finish, I'll true it up. All right, going in with the whip. One, two, and three. All right, now. I usually wanna get the ones that are like in front of the eye, not the back ones. They're forward and just side, uh, forward and side of the um, eye, the hook. That is fine. Alrighty, that's one done deal. There's your dam supply. Go ahead, do some marker, do some marker on that sucker, and uh, you know, make it look realistic. Remember, it's nine sections here. Oh, I almost forgot. Dam flies I have a little shorter. Um, body than a dragonfly. So take this and hook is over here. The shank is. So always do one equal body length, a little bit more, and snip it. There you go. All said and done. Y'all have a good night.